What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Siphon. Today we are finally going to be taking a more in-depth look at my Game Breaker Cannon and how you can build one yourself. Now, the most important things is going to be the roof of it. This is actually one that I have just in Team Pixel 4. I'm appearing offline so that nobody ends up showing up and getting in the way and everything like that. Uh, the way that works, I'll just show you right here. You jump into that top right corner of it. Uh, when things like that happen, which that, that's the thing that's unfortunate that is because of server instability like that's just lag right there so you're gonna want to be trying to go into this corner because you're going to be activating all four of those jump pads at the same time that's the mechanics around why it actually works and then when it does work woo! <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful isn't it Blark! let's just respawn so that we can go back uh, to it you just take that green portal if you want to actually take a look at this one I do have one set up in team pixel the uh, team pixel main like team pixel one that we are going to uh, Take a look at in a bit just so I can kind of show you but I just wanted to show you the ultimate design of it And the reason that works you can see on this side uh, Most of it like I, I kind of have a lot of it covered uh, I'm noticing that for some weird reason I actually have those blocks right there, which I didn't really need I think that next biome is sealed up, but anyway uh, It's all because of these launch pads and the other thing too That's very very important that a lot of people don't realize is the roof right here That's the most important thing because as you are traveling through the game breaker cannon the first launch pads you are bonking your head uh, and then as you're bonking your head the first time you're gonna be hitting that next pad uh, You bonk your head again, and you're hitting that last dance uh, Launch pad did I say dance pad and then you finally get up to this last one right here Bonking your head right there again, and then suddenly whoa you just get launched like super duper far because it all stacks right? Uh, the reason that you're gonna seal this part in right here is because of the way that the game mechanics kind of work That's just kind of how it has to work um, and uh, again when you're launching you're actually walking into this corner like push your character against both of these corners and then just let go of the controls and don't touch anything and it's gonna launch you as far as possible now we're actually gonna go to team pixel one uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to be building this on camera uh, because the uh, amount of work that like it, it's actually a very tedious build even for myself uh, when I, whenever I try to actually build it, but I did actually build an exoskeleton right over here uh, This has been here for quite some time the green represents the launch pads So you're gonna want to meticulously it, it, it only works one way That's that's the thing lots of people I have seen ever since my game breaker video. I have seen so many um Game breaker cannons out in the world some of them are exact copies and they work perfectly and then other ones are weirder ones And they still launch you but not nearly as far as the game breaker cannon does the other thing too that I would want to point out uh, Lots of people always say oh, you know the game breaker cannon has to be high up because that's how the skybox works That is not true the game breaker cannon down here. This one actually would work. It's just a little less stable uh, not because it's down lower and it doesn't launch as efficiently or anything like that The only thing that actually happens is as you go higher up uh, less props less character models are loaded in and stuff like that Therefore there is less lag when you're higher up and that's why the game breaker cannon feels a bit more stable when you're up higher so that just to kind of bust that myth right there because lots of people uh, Try to act like they know what the facts are, but it's like I, I actually know a lot about how this game works Despite the videos just being uh, you know a laughing fest, right? Uh, so anyway um, The point two is you're gonna want to have uh, 4 8 9 10 11 12 uh, 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 launch pads total these are all forward launch pads not up launch pads uh, you're gonna want to put them all beside each other. So right here. That's actually four of them Because you'll see as we come on to the other side right here. There are two right there because uh, Again, if we're jumping into this corner right here the game like uh, even though it's a voxel game our character Hitbox is bigger than the voxels so right now our characters hitbox is actually going through the wall And because of that when you are standing in the corner like this We're activating all four of the jump pads at the same time That's why you need the second layer on this side even though it doesn't look like it actually does anything I wish we didn't have this reflection right here So you're gonna want one two uh, the first one of course you can always come here just in type join worlds uh, team pixel 
and then you can always check this thing out it's just over here by that's the spawn right over there it's right beside the new hut uh so you're gonna want to set up these two right here take a space and make sure that the first one right here like you're gonna want have to go into the corner like that you can kind of just see for yourself just how it works uh, take a space go up one and then put the next one take a space go up one and then the next one and then this is important I wish this glare was not here this is important once you get to this last launch pad which is actually four in a row that's a four by well not a four by four but uh, four X four what however you would put that right um, you're gonna want to move two blocks over and then up one and then you start that launch pad now that's that's very important also the other thing too is uh, as far as the walls right here this wall right here is very important only to get the uh, trajectory listen to me being all complicated and stuff uh, you're only doing that just so that your character model gets locked into place and there's no like room for error and stuff like that then once he gets past this uh, second platform as soon as you get over here you're gonna want to have it all nice neat and open like that I, I'm pretty sure the game breaker cannon would probably work if you ended up uh, putting a wall over here too but I like to actually leave this area open so that you can kind of build around and hide uh, the game breaker like we actually have one up there on Bowser the sky whale that uh, you can't really see the launch pads or anything like that. I'll show you that right when we get to the end of the video. Uh, so the most important thing is the ceiling. That's the biggest thing that lots of people always seem to get wrong, myself included whenever I try to actually replicate building this is I kind of have to come back here back and forth over and over just double checking that I got the roof right because of the bonk. That's that's the point because you get launched up, bonk, you hit the launch pad, bonk, you hit the other launch pad. You, you don't really see it because it is like so laggy and you know your character kind of skips all those extra frames, but it's very important to get the roof right so you actually for this first launch I do want to say that you are going to be uh, there is the one initial block right there for the launch pad itself and you're going to want to go one two three up from the initial launch pad uh, from three spaces high you're dropping down because that gives you just enough time to get into the corner of course if you want to, you know hide this game breaker cannon you could actually put it a little bit underground and stuff like that so that you could actually just walk right into it otherwise I have all mine design where you have to jump up here uh, everything else pretty much is just for looks just to kind of hide it but otherwise you're gonna want to make sure that the roof goes from here right up to that point right there just before the next launch pad start and then the roof again goes up uh, one and then it's only three over this is the most important part right here it only goes three over this like the the roof goes up from this launch pad but it actually goes up one block just before this last set of launch pads that's actually very very important right there and that's actually what makes it work you also have to have the roof filled in so that your character doesn't like uh, glitch out or go in where he's not supposed to and you have to also have the roof go all the way up to uh, the last launch pad right here and then everything else is just good then you're all good gravy I, I haven't tested uh, like what I could get away with for block placement so I just kind of stick with what I know works anyway that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen as far as the launch pad is concerned or the game breaker cannon or uh, GBC if you ever see anybody say GBC that's what they're talking about is the game breaker cannon uh, which I, I'm like I'm so surprised and I just think that's like so cool that I actually like came up with something that works in this game like clearly I've been playing this game for a very long time right so anyway here's my more fancy one as you can see and I have all the launch pads all hidden and stuff like that so let's actually use this right here whoa it, it doesn't always work as you can see uh, you know and lately there's actually been this jitteriness like this jerkiness has been going on lately that's uh, we're not actually traveling very fast right now as you can see it kind of uh, filters itself out and the lag kind of goes away okay so it's still just gonna keep messing around on our bird until we land on the ground but it's very very laggy generally I find that that happens a lot more often lately that is just because of lag uh, also I think it might uh, don't don't quote me on this but I think it could be an issue with our club world because this club world was actually created on uh, the alpha code that's why uh, you're gonna notice if you go to the sea of regret it's actually just a bottomless pit rather than uh, evening like e easily going into an island or something like that so let's try one <clears throat> oh excuse me frog in my throat uh, let's try one last time see if we can get the game breaker to work uh, again I'm finding that it is becoming less and less stable as our club becomes like uh, 
older and older in its game code because otherwise the game breaker cannon works very very well in the hub because there's not that much lag because there's not many people in the hub uh, and then also if you try to go for it with a cornerstone then it's gonna be very very difficult to actually pull off just because uh, the way that it works yeah you see right there that is not game breaker cannon launch at all like normally we launch like super super far so uh, I'm just gonna double check right here just before we call the video you don't really need to keep tuning in or anything like that because that's pretty much how the game breaker cannon works and that's really all there is to it uh, I just wanted to double check right here if team pixel 4 yeah so you see right here we actually have a proper sea of regret uh, generated for team pixel 4 do we Maybe we don't. I'm gonna have to go check on the bottom island right there. But anyway, yeah, this this definitely is a proper generation. Uh, because otherwise, like Team Pixel 1, all the islands are just like that, where it's just a straight drop into the uh, Sea of Regret. But otherwise, in Team Pixel 4, at least I think anyway, I hope this one's like a more recent one and I'm not wrong. You can kind of see how the island like eases up into it because this is kind of the new generation and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm noticing that the Game Breaker Cannon in general just isn't working as well in Team Pixel 1. However, it still does actually work. And I may or may not have a secret island from the Game Breaker Cannon in Team Pixel 1. So try and see if you can get yourself to launch out there. It's really, really cool. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you found this video helpful. Hope that I start seeing a lot more functional Game Breaker cannons out there. Otherwise, I would very much appreciate if you would Hadouk in the like button for me. It very, very much helps me out. I would appreciate it because it makes more people see the video and stuff like that. Otherwise, sign on and stay epic, everybody.